All right, in our next video here in Module 2, we're going to go over how to create our textiles in AutoCAD. Um, this will set us up for our title block, which is linked right here. Um, with the title block here, you can see I have a textile of Mech down here. This is going to be at three different places. I have a smaller textile for Mech 06 here. Uh, that's going to be six, six separate places on our title block. And then uh, a number textile here too. And then I have a title mech uh, textile right here. So these are all gonna go on our title block here. So the different textiles. Um, and you can see here, this is another PDF here. This will be printed off in front of you or it is online linked on Canvas. But our textiles are right here. These are all gonna be for our title A drawing that we're gonna be creating um, this week. So. Uh, we're going to go to AutoCAD, and again, I have my standard file pulled up here with all of my different layers attached to it right here. And this is my snap example from our previous lesson. So to create textiles, there's a couple ways to get into it. Uh, you do have a drop-down menu under annotation here, and you can click on this little symbol for textile. Okay, I can also, I'm going to close out of here, I can also just type in TS. Um, what was it? Sorry, the, uh, the TA. Oh, I, oh, I forgot right now. So, but T, but if I type in just uh, text here, and I'm just, I'm just going to go up here to the uh, annotation, and then this should be, I thought it was TS. Let's try it. Let's try it one more time. TS, nope, not working. All right, anyways, coming up here to text and to the annotation and then textile right here. Uh, I'm going to delete the one I have right now. Okay, I'm going to delete this mech here and I'll set this as the current and delete the mech. Alright, so to start here my textile name is going to be mech. So I'm going to click up here for new and capital M-E-C-H and click OK. Now I'm going to change the font here. The font is going to be Roman, so I've got to scroll down to, to the R, and let's find just the simple Romans right there, Roman.shx, and make sure that's correct there. The paper text height. So for the height here, uh, this is going to be 0 0.10, and then the width factor is going to be the same at 1, and then click, uh, click New. All right, click cancel, click apply. All right, then another text style here. So I can uh, click on new, and this will be style. This will be mech title. Going across there, mech title. And then it's already set as Romans, so that's nice for us. You don't have to change that. And then the text height is going to be 0.18. And then the width factor is going to stay at 1. And click Apply. And then I'm going to go new. Another new font here. This is going to be mech-06. Click OK. And for this one, again, I'm going to move Romans here. This is going to be point, point zero 0.06 for height. And then the width factor is going to be 1. And then I click Apply. And last one here is going to be number, capital, these are for our numbers on our text, uh, on our title blocks, click OK. And then this here, I need to look for what is called complex, so up to the C, and complex. And then my text height here is going to be 0.18. And then my width factor is going to be 0.8 for my width factor, and then click apply. And then I have my one, two, three, four different uh, styles here. And I'm going to make sure I make my standard just as my current right now, standard, and then click close. All right, that's how we create our text styles. And again, we're going to be using these on our uh, title block that we're going to be creating for the end of this module. Thanks, everyone.